Let's welcome our first fighter to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Enver Halili. And his opponent coming to the ring, Jimmy Williams. Line it up! Fox was I hope y'all ready. Y'all better get out your seats. The champ is here. Jimmy Williams, make some noise for the champ. Let's get it, Fox Woods. We in the building. Connecticut, make some noise. Hey, ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Had a dream, woke up, now I'm living large. Ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Had a dream, woke up, now I'm living large. Ride down Martin Luther Boulevard. Stratford Ave, I'm from Martin Luther Boulevard. I've been through the pain, you can see the scars. All these new rappers wearing leotards. Where I'm from is praying that they be the chub. And you got daddy key your cup. Hang around me, you wanna see it stuck. You know Ace go for 30. We want it like Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Sugar Factory main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for eight rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 150 pounds. His pro record, 10 wins, one loss, with three big victories by way of knockout. Hailing from the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, Enver Halili. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in at 151 pounds. His pro record, 15 wins, one loss, one draw, with five big victories by way of knockout. Hailing from New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy the Quiet Storm Williams. Your referee for the main event is Al Lobliaco. Xavier, we are moments away from our main event of the evening. Jimmy Williams against Enver Halili. Xavier, this feels like Yankees Red Sox to me. <laughs> we got the Bronx, we got New England, we got rivalry, we got boxing, we got just excitement in the fans. Here uh, we go. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting fight. Enver Halili from the Halili fighting family with his brother Skender. Yeah, I seen Dave Schuster uh, checking in early and Cliff Mass as well. Special shout out to them guys. I want to give a shout out to our friend Mark Fratto. Thank you so much for joining us here on Fight Night. Fratto! Fight Night Live on Facebook. Without Main Fratto, event of the evening. Without Mark Fratto and Linda Comedia, none of this would be possible. So Absolutely we, we right. We definitely appreciate Mark. We have a lot of Enver fans online joining us here. I see, here. I see. But Jimmy Williams is just a hometown hero. Yeah. Father of two twins. Uh, lost both his parents at a young age. Yeah. Tough, but it was tough. You know, he lost his mother. Cold case murder. Father passed away of cancer. You know, Jimmy grew up in the fourth gear system as well, out of Plainfield, New Jersey. But you know, he, he stayed tight through the through the good lessons that his grandfather um, that he got from his grandfather, who also passed away. You know, he's fighting in honor of his grandfather tonight, as well as his both parents. And he's looking to get get, get a win get a win back in that column. You know, he's a up and coming welterweight. He was undefeated. 
He was the United States, um, I, I think the USNBC champion, I believe. And um, right now, he's back home, Connecticut, New Haven. He's ready. Oh, he looks ready. Yeah. He looks ready. Football player, had some NFL tryouts. Yes. Tough, rugged man. Yeah, Enver Halili's a tough guy himself. Only Absolutely. has one loss. Absolutely. Nice right Big hand. left hand by Jimmy Williams. Sends Enver Lilly back to the ropes. You might have hurt him with that right hand, honestly, because it was really, it, was, it landed very clean. And there it goes again. He comes up behind it with the left hook. Want to give a big Fight Night Live welcome and hello to huge fight fan Gennady Berlin from the Jersey Shore. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. You know, Jimmy went over to Las Vegas and trained in the Mayweather gym for his last fight. And uh, he, he, learned some, he learned a lot out there about himself. Although he, he, he took a loss and he's coming, coming back off a loss, he learned a lot and better his skills for this fight. Well, both guys are coming off a tough loss because Halili's loss to, uh, to Ray, Ray Serrano was tough when he was disqualified after having a mouthpiece falling out of his mouth not once, not twice, about six times. Yeah. Really good action as we conclude the first round. Halili having some double jabs, pushing Williams back. And that is the end of round one of the scheduled eight round welterweight main event. This is the bout we've been waiting for. This is the bout that the crowd has been waiting for. On Fight Night Live on Facebook. Xavier, what did you think of the first round? Uh, feel, I, I felt it was a little feel-out round for both men. Both men trying to figure out exactly, you know, how to control distance or, or gain distance in a sense. Um, Jimmy appeared to be more more relaxed, um, although Enver was, was, was not solely <laughs> letting Jimmy get relaxed to that ring. Enver was in his face, so, you know, definitely, wanted, definitely w can't wait to see what's going to take place in this next fight. As the beginning of the second round, Williams and Halili live from the Fox Theater in Foxwoods, Connecticut. Fight Night Live on Facebook. Yeah, we're hoping to get his promoter. We're hoping to get his promoter, uh, Thomas Lamato, who's also a fighter out of New Jersey, to get him on. Xavier, I know you'd be excited about this. Our friend Carlos Ramos is giving us an update. Tevin Farmer, TKA victory tonight in the TD Garden. Well, it says TKO, but is it a victory or what? <laughs> <laughs> it says one. Farmer by TKO. Does it say Farmer won by TKO? <laughs> hey, Carlos, we need you to be more clear, Carlos. <laughs> well, I think it's Farmer by TKO victory. Okay. Williams and Halili in the center of the ring. Round two of a scheduled eight-round bout at the Fox Theater. Carlos telling us that Andre is about to come into the ring. Yeah, they're saying Tevin Farmer won by TKO. There you go. There you go. Why are we questioning Carlos Ramos? Oh, uh, yeah, you got to be clear. You got to be sure in this world. Carlos, I got your back, Carlos. <laughs> I got your back. I knew what you meant, and I had to clear it up for my partner here. The Human Boxing Encyclopedia, Xavier Porter. Absolutely. The book is always open to, to learn more knowledge and wisdom about the sport of boxing. <laughs> it's okay, Carlos. We got you covered. <laughs> Just about a minute and 20 left in the second round. Jimmy Williams and Enver Halili in a main event. Welterweight action. Good movement by Halili. Popping those jabs in there. Well, that's good that you're watching so many fights because you're a dedicated fan to the sport. And it's great to have you here on Fight Night Live with CES Boxing. Because we had a lot of great action today. I think Carlos is watching the top rank card. He's watching the World Series of Boxing Absolutely. Card. <laughs> yeah. He He's must watching. have. Carlos, I'm sure, is watching uh, bare knuckle boxing. That's a lot of fighting going on today. Some good jab work by, uh, by Lily. Yes. 
So, Xavier, on Fight, Fight Night Live, our, our dedicated fans said that Enver Halili is looking a little bit like Poli Malinaji. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Carlos. If you're watching six fights, you can watch our whole telecast again tomorrow. And the great th and the great thing about Facebook Fight Night Live. That's exactly. Vlad just took the words right out of my mouth. You know, you can catch us live tomorrow again. Really good jab work by Halili here. End second round here. Pretty good round by Halili, I gotta say. Evenly matched fight so far. Would you agree? I think Halili's doing some really good work with the jab. We're about to go to round three of a scheduled eight round welterweight main event attraction. Jimmy Williams from nearby New Haven, Connecticut. 15 wins, one loss, one draw, five knockouts against Enver Halili from the Boogie Down Bronx. 10 wins, one tough defeat, three knockouts. Yo, that was a disqualification loss due to some mouthpiece issues. Other than that, Halili would be unblemished. I gotta agree, I got, this, I got the fight 1-1 one, one so far. Stephen Gould has it 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Enver is landing that jab, Stephen, we agree. The beginning of round three of a scheduled eight round bout. Both men meet in the, in the middle of the ring. Hey Rocco, we agree. Tremendous matchmaking by Michael Parente because we've seen some great fights and we've seen some fights that could have gone either way and we saw some undefeated guys going at each other. Usually we don't see undefeated fighters that are prospects going against each other so early in their careers, but we made it happen at CES Boxing tonight. That is why the fans are here, that's why people bought tickets. And we had a full house here. One thing I gotta say right now, this fight is pretty even, although I see what, what Williams is trying to do by landing the jab and following behind the right hand. And, and, and Halili is just coming forward and trying to land that hook. See? Well, that was, that was a right, right hook that did land, but Halili is just coming right back and popping in that jab. Yeah. If Halili keeps this jab up, that'll be the difference in this fight. I'd be surprised to see Halili throw a right hand because he's so favoring that left hook. It seems to be his favorite weapon. The, the jab just keeps landing and landing and landing. And again, who's back is to the ropes? Williams back is to the ropes, and Halili's is coming on and stalking. Good left hook on the inside by Williams. Another left hook on the inside by Williams. Megan Lopez calling on Enver to get the, the knockout, but Megan, your guy just took a left hook up top. Yeah, they're both going for broke right now. Well, Halili, that is. He's definitely going for broke. This is a crossroads fight for both guys. Jimmy Williams needs this win. He wants to be on the landscape of the welterweight division. He wants to be up in the New England top echelon fighters. And Edmund Halili is just trying to bounce back from a controversial loss. You know, Williams is looking to take that next step from, you know, you know, community community fighter to becoming a well-known community fighter to becoming a prospect. You know, he's, he's, he's a local fighter as it is. He's a good local fighter. You know, but he wants to. He wants the world to know that. Some, listen, oh, I see the blood. I see the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some blood, 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 blood coming out of Williams' mouth. Yeah. <laughs> there's blood coming out of Williams' mouth, and there's blood coming out of Edwards' nose. Yeah. Believe his nose. So so far, this seems to be shaping up pretty good, just like all the others. That jab from Halili just keep popping, popping, mm. causing the blood there. But there, there's, there's a significant amount of blood coming from Halili's nose there. As well as Williams' mouth. Yeah. The blood is starting to pop up in the air so when he gets hit. As we're about to conclude the third round of a very compelling eight-round welterweight attraction. Nice right hand by Williams right there. Halili, Halili stood in front of him, bouncing up and, and down. And Halili shook it off and said, I didn't feel a thing. I want to make sure the judges knows. Guys, everyone, Foxwoods, I didn't feel a thing. He might not have felt it, but the judges definitely scored it. 
Touche, Xavier. Touche. We're going to go to round four of a scheduled eight round welterweight attraction between Jimmy Williams and Enver Halili from the Bronx. I love that these guys came out to see their fighters. Absolutely. We have people that drove 20 minutes from New Haven. We got folks that drove 45 minutes to an hour from the Bronx to see these two guys fight. Beginning of round four of a scheduled eight. Fight fans at home, Stephen Gold has it 2-1 for Enver. He's controlled more of the round. He may have controlled more of the round, Stephen, but he's the one bleeding right now. And Jimmy's getting more confident, more confident. Lily's controlling the action. Nice. Left hook to the body. And just a reminder, don't forget to tune in November 2nd, the return of John Gotti III. I repeat, John Gotti III returns back to the cage. CES MMA, make sure you get your tickets. You can purchase your tickets online at CESMMA.com. November 20, 21st, CES Boxing returns, bringing a special Thanksgiving Eve bash. Make sure you get your card, CESBoxing.com. CESBoxing.com Heavyweight, Italian heavyweight prospect Joey Cusimano will be on the card. And I say it again Josie, Joey Cusimano Well done Xavier You know, Halili's just moving really well in there Paul Williams with a big monster left hand The sweat is flying We got some blood trickling down Xavier, how many days till Halloween? 11 days to Halloween. You took me off guard with that question. <laughs> <laughs> I see blood, I see Halloween. When you asked me that question, all I thought about was all the Kit Kats and M&M's and Three Musketeers are gonna be in. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. I meant no traffic. I meant like right around time, there's no traffic. And, and depending on the, the, the vehicle that you have, he depending said, on the engine. Jamie said, you, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie said you get to the Bronx faster than New Haven. I think Jamie's right. <laughs> well, Jamie, it took us about an hour, 40 minutes from Washington Heights. Thanks, Jamie. We appreciate that. And let's not forget the next Fight Night Night Live. Fight Night Live card will be taking place November 9th at King's Boxing at the Sugar House Casino in Philly. Hey. I like that. <laughs> oh, I, I, you've been to the Sugar House. I yes, love the Sugar beautiful, House. beautiful, beautiful venue. I love the Sugar House. Sugar House always has some good fights. Hey, let's go, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's go. Again, really stay popping tuned. that jab, but Williams is coming on strong. But Williams is throwing that one punch at a time. Halili's trying to go with the combinations. But you can see that Williams has the reach there, and that's what's caught, what caught Halili's nose. Yeah. And also be mindful, Fight Night Live, Facebook Fight Night Live. We might have a surprise card coming up next weekend. We'll be sure to let you guys know. I repeat, we might have a surprise card coming up next weekend. We'll definitely let you guys know. Also, tune in. Tune in. We are live at Bare Knuckle, Champion, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. You can catch that on right now if you tune in. Facebook Fight Night Live. We are all over the place. We are oh, here we're in everywhere. We're, we're, we are worldwide. You know, we are Fox, we are in Foxwoods tonight. We are in Mississippi. We are in Europe. We are in France. We are in Asia. We are all over the place. Catch us live. Facebook Fight Night Live powered by Everlast. So we are in round five. Uh, what do you what do you think about the fight so far? Who do you think is pulling away, or who? You, what do you think? What are your thoughts? You know, I like I like Khalili's jab, but I love the way Williams is moving, and I think Williams punches hurt more. You know, Stephen Gould at home has a three to one for uh, Khalili. I'm just not sure. I'm I got a two two right now. 
What about you, Xavier? I'd have to agree with you. I have also two, too. It's a, it's a tough fight to score down, you know, to give one man that split because they're both basically doing a similar similar things. They're both landing the jab, trying to get inside, trying to gain that distance and trying to control the ring. So I got a 2-2 two, two even as well. But both men are just getting got the fortitude. They're coming on strong. They want to impress for the crowd. And, you know, Williams has just got popped with the left, left hand and just moved him around. I mean, Halili's bringing the action. Williams is fighting off the back foot. Williams is in the corner. There was a nice, that was a nice body shot, but just caught Williams off balance a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it looked like he tried to tried to get out of there, but then got, got pulled back in with a left hook and kind of slipped. None, nonetheless, it was a good shot by Halili. Yeah. I mean, Williams is moving really well, but he's moving himself right into the ropes. Halili just doesn't know how to cut the ring off against Williams. Yeah. That's probably the difference of the fight. But Halili's jab is beautiful. Beautiful jab. Difference of the fight for Halili. Yeah. Halili is definitely winning. If, if, you have, if you have to favor Halili winning this fight or winning this round, it would be because of the jab work. And, um, and, and, but also... You They're going at it right now. They're going at it. They're throwing some real fisticuffs right now. And you also got to look at the fact that Williams is he's trying to land that right hand. He's, he's just missing with the right hand. So the sharpness and the accuracy of his shot is just is just a little bit off point. But very entertaining round here. Absolutely, without a doubt. A little bit of a gash on the left cheek for Halili from those looping right hand hooks from Jimmy Williams. The quiet storm. And here comes the blood again from Halili's nose. Both fighters. Courtesy of that long reach, that long jab from Williams. Every time Halili throws a jab, he lands directly on the lips of Jimmy Williams and blood starts to flow. He lands on the lips and the, the bridge of his nose. A lot of Halili fans tuning in from the Bronx right now on Fight Night Live on Facebook. Powered by Everlast. And Halili seems to be walking him down now. He feels that nothing can hurt him and nothing that Williams is throwing is hurting him. He's shaking his head now. And he's, and, he's, and he's coming in with wide looping hooks though. That's the reason why Williams is able to kind of maneuver himself in and out of range. A little bit of a brawl right now. Big body shot by Halili. Yeah, Jimmy threw a punch off balance when he got hit it with the left hook. I, Halili sees that that body shot hurt him a little bit. He's trying to come on again. He's trying to capitalize. He's getting, getting caught. No head movement, but he, he wants to get that body shot again. The best punch in the world is your jab because everything else gets set up behind it. So you can't walk in without it. A lot of Halili fans, a lot of Halili fans tuning in Fight Night Live on Facebook. You know, your jab is your, is, is your is, everything comes behind your jab. It's the best punch in the world. Nice right hand by Williams. I think he caught, he caught Williams taking a little bit of a snooze there. Yeah, he caught him stepping back, but he, and he walked into a nice right hand. Tough fight for and, both guys. And, he, and we're watching Halili go back to his corner. Super confident, big smile. And there, Halili looking confident. And Williams is slouching in a corner. It's not looking very good for Jimmy Williams. Uh, to me, it seems that Williams is just kind of like taking a step back. But watch this punch right here that Williams lands. Nice jab, nice jab. Takes a step back, lets Halili walk in, and then watch his right hand. Right there. That's the punch that Williams been trying to land all night. If he can get it off a little quicker, a little sharper, time him better, he can catch a nice knockout off that shot. The only problem is Halili, Halili continues to just move his legs so well, he's up and down, he's hard to predict. Good round by Williams. I, and right now we're going into round six. I got a 3-2 Halili. I got to say I really didn't but like But not Williams. by much, but not by much. Williams' body language did not look good at the end of that, at the end of that round. Well, to me it looked like he was just listening to his, his trainers and and hopefully adjusting to the tech, you know, come out and adjust to the technique. I definitely understand by the, you know, the body language and, his, and the affect in his face. I'm trying to fit, yes, that I said a big word, affect. <laughs> Go Google it. Good job, Encyclopedia <laughs> Porter, good job. Yes, the affect in his face, you really couldn't see exactly what was going on there, like whether he was worried or not. But however, good round by both men. Round six of a scheduled eight round main event from Foxwoods on Fight Night Live on Facebook. And Halili is chasing Williams all around the ring. Yes, he is. Not much cutting off the ring there, but Halili's just looking for that body shot again. Right now, they're standing in front of us. A 
lot of Halili fans on Fight Night Live cheering their guy on, but Williams caught him with a body shot there. Yes, he did, and he has a lot of fans behind us cheering and, him and, on. And it dropped Halili's hands a little bit. Just a little. As you can hear, they're, 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 a lot of people screaming, go, let's go, Jimmy. Halili from the Bronx, by way of Kosovo, huge, huge following on Facebook, cheering on their man, Enver Halili traveling up from the Bronx to Foxwoods to try to put a damper on the evening of Jimmy Williams. And Halili just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> Good evenly match. The ropes there. Good even match here. Another, another great matchup by Michael missing. Parente. Another great matchup by Michael Parente. It's really evenly matched. You have a tall, long welterweight who's slick in, in his own right, and then you have an aggressive, come forward type of fighter. And, and, and Halili. So it presents a, a presents a, 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 a dynamic where as you don't know who's going to be the aggressor in the fight. Although Halili has shown and proven that he is the aggressor. Hey Carlos, speaking of Sergio Martinez, Paul Williams, we know how that fight ended. We know how that fight ended. I don't know if we're going to see something that quite spectacular, but nice reference. Eliza, Halili should be cutting the ring off a little bit more. If he cut the ring off and went to the body, be, be more of a one-sided fight. Kind of tough to do that when you got it. So he has so much energy. Oh, he absolutely you is know. very agile. You know, Williams is a natural athlete. You know, outside of the football and the boxing, he is a natural athlete. I believe Williams Jr. If he wanted to pick up any sport outside of boxing, he could do it and do it very well. Look at him backpedaling. But boxing is a tough man's game. And, oh, nice right hand again by Williams, and it's something that Williams truly enjoys doing. Both men, rather. You need, a, you need athleticism, but you need timing. And Enver has the timing today, because that job is landing. Enver trying has, to punctuate the round. Enver has one of those jabs where it's not so, it's not so much stiff, but it's a pushing it's, jab. Yeah, and, but it's landing. And it's <laughs> you big, know? And it's, well, it's pushing Williams yeah, back. Yeah, and it's pushing him back. Like, he's just steadily pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. It's not those, it's not one of those strong, stiff jabs where it, it pops you. But it's steadily pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. It's a frustrating punch. Xavier, we got two rounds to go. It's another one that I just don't know where the judges are going to see this one. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I agree 100%. You know, Williams, in my opinion, is going to have to do something very different in the next two rounds if he expects to win the, wins this fight outright. However, he, he can win the fight if he maybe scores a knockdown. You know, we don't, we don't know. Enver, Enver Halili. He's just been the aggressor all night. Seems to have a little control in the bout. And, and if you watch the bout closely, it's always about ring generalship. Does he have full control in the bout? I don't really think so, but he has somewhat of a control. Okay, Mike, Christopher, you think um, Jimmy won that last round? We're going into the seventh round, so I'm a, what, what are you calling the fight now? Are you calling it even? Do you think Jimmy or Halili is winning the fight? J Williams comes out with a pretty good combination to the body. Now both men are just throwing punches to the body. Steven, we agree with you. That jab has been sensational tonight. And it's given Jimmy Williams all sorts of problems. As Enver went to the body, went up top. Again, he caught Williams a little bit off balance, off that back foot. But Williams has been going off that back foot. They have not been exchanging until now. But there's a little bit of more of an urgency from Jimmy Williams right now as the fight just seems to be slipping away. We are in round seven of a scheduled eight rounder. This is our main event. Agreed. Michael Woods, thank you for joining us. Hey, Woodsy. Me. Tell us how you see this fight, Mr. Woods. Hey, Woodsy. Hey, Mike, Mike Woods, if you're listening, Write it down. Anthony Link from Niagara Falls, he might win the weekend. Enver Halili continuing to work behind that jab. The jab has been the key difference maker in this fight. But Williams is having a little bit more aggression, a little bit more sense of urgency. He's watching the fight go back. That jab from Halili just keeps landing and landing. Very technically sound fighter from the boogie down Bronx. 
But I give Williams credit, Xavier. This is the round that Williams has fought off in the middle of the round. Williams is not moving around. He's not going off the ropes. He's exchanging a little bit more. We know, Woodsy, we feel you. A lot of <laughs> boxing tonight. A lot of boxing. But I got to tell you, the boxing here on Fight Night Live on Facebook has been sensational, Xavier. Absolutely. We got the great Jimmy Burt. Jimmy Birch was standing right behind me. I'm going to try to get a little selfie if I can with him. <laughs> Khalili going to the body. Let's Khalili see is stalking now. Let's see if I can get a selfie with Jimmy Birch was standing behind me. As I continue to co <laughs> watch these, these, these tough combatants go at it. Good analysis, Megan. We agree with you. Williams has been backing up. This is the only round, I got to tell you, Megan, that Williams is actually trying to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's trying to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Edward Lilly's jab is the difference maker. Tough fight for Williams. Thanks, John. We appreciate that. That's what we're here for. That is the end of the seventh round. Xavier, we got one more round. This has been a great card. It's been a great card up and down the lineup here at Foxwoods. I think that this sense of urgency. Xavier, I want you to look at how Jimmy Birchfield's looking and peering at his man, Jimmy Williams. Yeah, he's, he's telling giving him. him the death of stare. You got to come out and fight. He's letting him know, listen, he's basically letting him know, like, you got to you gotta do this for whatever you got to do it for. Whoever you, plan to, whoever you plan to win this fight for, you have to come out and do it right now. You have to come out and do well, it right now. Well, he's got a lot to fight for. He's got twin boys. His wife is here fighting for the memory of his mother and father. And his grandfather. And Jimmy Birchfield just told him, you better get in there and fight. Yep, yes he did. So you let him know, you got to get in there. They you got to do it. They packed this house tonight for Jimmy Williams. You let him know, you got to do it. This is a fight you need right now. You're 17 and one. You're trying to make. You're trying to make a mark in this welterweight division. You're trying to get. You're trying to get over that hump of being considered a prospect, and you want to get to that next level. You want to be. You want to be considered a contender. Right now go. is the time you got to do it, Jimmy. This is round eight, the final round, and here they go. And they're swinging. Here comes the fisticuffs. Absolutely. And trying to turn this into a Bronx street fight. Both over of them. from Hunts Point. They are both going at it right now. Jimmy Williams against Enver Halili. Facebook Fight Night Live. Tune in right now. Looking at the scorecards, they're all over the place. Okay? They're all over the place. Christopher Michael, he's got Williams up 4-3. Yeah. Gould, he's given almost every round to the leader. He only gave one to Williams. Wow. It's a tough fight to call on both sides. The Jimmy Williams fans are starting to speak up on Facebook and inside the arena here at the theater at Foxwoods. Here we go. This is a good fight so far. Big right hand this, by Halili. This is the last Big fight. by Halili. And Williams is holding on. Williams got stunned a little bit. Make sure y'all tune in. It's last fight at about, last night, last fight tonight at about. Tune in right now, Facebook Fight Night Live. Jimmy Bertrand, CES Boxing, powered by Everlast. Tune in right now. Nice right hand by nice Williams right, hand, right but there. But it was more of a slap. Yeah. More get, of a slap by Williams. Slap to get him off. Good punch on the inside, though. In the Bronx, if you get slapped like that, somebody comes back over the top with a big right <laughs> hand, and it just lays you out. Absolutely. That's how they do it in the Bronx. Absolutely. Someone is going to have to sit down on their punches and take the next man Got out. about a minute and a half left in this entertaining fight between Enver Halili and Jimmy Williams from New Haven, Connecticut. The main event of the evening. That's exactly what needs to take place. Somebody's going to have to sit down in the punch and take the next man out. Xavier, the Jimmy Williams fans are showing up on Fight Night Live. They, they are here also. Nice right hand by Jimmy. They are outworking the Enver Halili fans. They are going at it right now. It's been a tough fight. Tough, tough fight. Time is running out on both men. Big Time right is running out on both men. But get in face Halili. Halili just keeps coming. Those Less shots, than a minute to go. Those shots he's landed can, can, can very well even up the fight for him if it, if it goes the distance. Another big jab by Halili. They're just slugging it out right, right now. Right now they're going at it. Right now they are banging. Oh, 
a very tough fight to score. We got about 20 seconds left. They're really going he at it. He just hurt her lady with a nice right hand. Just his urgency in Jimmy Williams' attack and his approach. It started in the seventh round, and he's carrying it over to the eighth round. There's just 10 seconds left. Jimmy Williams trying to gut this victory out, trying to take it from the jaws of Enver Halili. This is the type of fight I wish we could have saw go 10 rounds because these guys are really going at it. Tremendous action. They really went at it this round. Tremendous action. It's in the hands of the judges' scorecards. Fight fans out there, let us know who you got. I said let us know who you got. Jimmy Williams and Enver Halili. Halili, excuse me, with eight rounds. Coach Cal Ford, how you feeling out there? Xavier, I just don't know. These scorecards are going to be all over the place. I just don't know. Good fight so far. Last fight of the night. You know. On uh, you know, on Facebook, it's pretty. It's pretty even. Absolutely. It's pretty even on Facebook. Everybody on Facebook right now, tune in. Let us know where you're calling from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us we know who you're talking. Got the fans. We yeah. got the Williams fans. You can't go wrong. This is a really good fight. So let us know, man. Tune in right now, Facebook Fight Night Live, while we're still on air. Let us know who you thought won the fight. Fans, we do this for you. We love you guys. We love boxing. We know you love boxing. We know how much you want to support your guys. We're doing it for you. Thank you for tuning in as we await the decision. My heart is pounding, Xavier. I don't know about you. I, I'm, I'm expecting that one of these judges will probably say a draw again. The first, Xavier, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Before he speaks, who won this fight, Xavier? Come on. I got it a draw. Ah, come on, Xavier. I got it a draw. I got it 4-4. You know, I think I think Williams pulled out the last two rounds, which 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 which, which gave it a draw. This is going to be a tough one. I'm 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 nervous. I'm I am I am legitimately nervous. I just don't know which direction they're going to go. I got it a draw. Big Rome, what's going on, Rome? I'm in the building, Rome. How you feeling, man? I got it a draw. We got the Halili fans starting to speak up on Facebook. It's going to be a tough decision to hear, tough decision, but I got it a draw. Well, Jerk and Darage saying, Xavier, you have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the first person that has ever said that to me and been proven either wrong or right. <laughs> But well, thanks for tuning in, man. <laughs> thanks for definitely for tuning in. <laughs> well, Gennady Berlin, who's a fight enthusiast from the Jersey Shore, he's fight picking fans, the lead. Terrific we'll we'll event we'll in see. a terrific way. And we go to the score to cards. conclude our card here at CES at Foxwoods. Thanks After eight tough rounds, rounds we go to the scorecards. How about Everlast? Judge Richard Flaherty, Peter Harry, and Eddie Scunzio all scored the fight. Seventy-eight. 74 for your winner by unanimous decision jimmy quiet storm 78 74 williams pulled it out tough decision that's going to be a tough loss for halili 78 74 for all three judges xavier that was a tough one xavier Xavier, what do you think of the decision? 78, 74 times three. Um, I'm sorry, repeat that? 78, 74 times three. What do you think of the decision? I think, I think, what, I think what the judges scored the fight on based off a of clear-cut punching. Well, fans at home are not happy. They have, they have a right to be. They have a right to be, you know what I mean? But, they, but that, that's because it's their opinion. <laughs> you know, and, and, and they wanted their guy to win. However, you have three judges here who scored the fight off a clear cut, clear cut, you know, clear cut right. punching. Right now, we're going to bring over Jimmy, get his thoughts on the fight. We're going to have Jimmy Williams coming over here. How you feeling, Jimmy? The victor. Congratulations, man. Jimmy Williams, we're live on Facebook, Fight Night Live. Jimmy Williams, the hometown hero. Coming yeah. through with the victory, Jimmy. How do you feel? Uh, I feel great. Um, it was a good fight, good tough one. I knew it was that. Um, he's a good boxer. Um, but I just stuck to my jab. You know, um, just, just kept to the basics. You know, he was just kept coming forward, and I just had to keep keep backing him up. So, Jimmy, the first few rounds, we noticed that you were fighting off the ropes and and kind of backing up. Tell me, was that part of the strategy? Um, I just wanted to get a good rhythm on him. He kept coming forward, so I just wanted 
did uh, make him work a little bit more energy while him com coming forward. I know he was slowing down in, in um in the, in the later rounds, you know. But um, it was a good fight. I know I expect a good fight at this level. I, I want the best, and um, I know his brother got a belt, and um, I love a shot at his brother. You know what I mean? Hey, let's go. <laughs> Jimmy Williams calling out Skender Halili. Hey, Jimmy, so did you hear the crowd in your corner? Oh, of course. I've always been out the hometown. I got a lot of support. I'm very thankful. Um, I fought this fight with a heavy heart. I lost my grandpa two days ago, um, James Williams Sr. You know, I, I just keep fighting. You know what I mean? That's why I fight for my family, my wife, my kids. Um, it was a great performance. Hey, Jimmy, on behalf of Fight Night Live on Facebook, everyone at CES Boxing, we just really want to pass on our condolences. We love you, and uh, you're a true warrior. So all the best. Congratulations. Jimmy, right behind you, got a lot of fans look, waiting to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got uh, Sig Play. My, my sponsors, uh, they did a hell of a job. My first fight working with them. I'll uh, continue the future with them. Uh, somebody says, brother, knock me out. <laughs> Let's get the fight then. Let's go. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. Congratulations, Jimmy.